North Texas families say that it could save, they think, their children from suffering. But marijuana is just out of their reach. The first company sanctioned to sell it is still waiting on its first order. Andrea Lucia live in Dallas. So, Andrea, I know you spoke to the frustrated mother. What'd she have to say? Well, you know, these patient families say that after years of lobbying for legalized medical marijuana and another couple of years waiting for the industry to get up and running, a lack of orders doesn't translate into a lack of interest, but rather difficulty getting a doctor to prescribe it. There's only eight doctors in the state that are currently allowed to do so, and none of them are here in North Texas. It's so frustrating to know that it is there and, you know, that we're not able to access it yet. We first met Patty Bates Ballard and her son. Hey, darling, how was your day? Last February, Corey is one of thousands of Texans with intractable epilepsy who qualify under state law to use medical marijuana. We're ready. We're ready to try this. We're past ready. Bates Ballard is hoping it can put an end to her son's seizures. Like this one caught on video last year. Come on, boy. Come on, buddy. You, there's no way to understand what it's like to have your child go through a seizure if you haven't actually experienced it. But Bates Ballard says she was told this week UT Southwestern, which employs Corey's doctor, is not yet allowing physicians to prescribe cannabis. We asked the hospital if that was true. After two days, we still have not received a response. I wanted to have every possible treatment available. Dr. Michael Newmark in Houston is one of the eight neurologists registered with the state to be able to prescribe cannabis. He says he plans to use it cautiously and only after ruling out more conventional medication. We really don't know uh, how effective it is at different doses, what the maximum doses are, what the minimum dose is. Bates Ballard says her son has tried conventional methods. We've got to have our doctors we're ready and willing to prescribe it. Now she's fighting to try something new. Another mother told me that she was having to walk her doctor, her child's doctor, through the process of registering for this. She blamed a lack of outreach to the medical community. Now, Knox Medical, the licensed med medical marijuana dispensary, said it is working with doctors and directly with patients to try to help them navigate this system. Reporting live in Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. Andrea.